Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to a brand new video and over the past couple weeks I've actually been getting comments of people asking what I ride for my bike. So I'm just going to give you a quick little rundown. It's a little dark in here. I don't even know if you can... Oh yeah, you can see. I'll turn this, this little light on. And yeah, so here's my bike. Uh, it looks like shit. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm just going to give you a quick little rundown. I've seen a couple of comments, people asking. Um, so we'll start at the back. I do, in fact, run a free coaster. I have a Federal V2. It's got KHE internals. I don't know. It's, it's pretty good. Uh, I definitely, uh, 9 out of 10 IGN rated. Um, I've got some random hub guard on there. These pegs... I really don't know what the pegs are. Uh, they're plastic. Uh, Colts, maybe Federal, maybe. I don't know. I don't like. I don't see any logos on it, so like, I'm really sure. Maybe I just got them from someone. I don't know. I think, I think one of them is a demolition one. I'm not sure. Um, random spokes missing a bunch. The wheel is honestly so warped. It's almost getting hard to ride. The rim. Uh, if I had to say, it's either an old cinema rim. Maybe salt, a cloud, I'm not really sure. The tire are the BSD Donna Squeaks. They're Alex Donna Cheese. I don't know if that's how you say his name, but they're his signature tire. I mean, it's a tire. It's good. They are squeaky a little bit. Um, I got an Odyssey seat. It is the uh, tripod system, so there's actually no pivotal. It's like this weird like tripod system. Um, cranks, are a oh, cranks are a clat. Uh, they're good. Um, the one bolt on the one side comes loose quite a bit. Uh, these are the Odyssey, uh, Tom Dugan pedals, I believe. They're pretty good. I've had them on here for a bit. I mean, from doing some crank arms, like this part of the pedal, um, uh, from, from when it's back there, it's kind of getting worn down. But they're, they're honestly pretty good. They're holding up. They're a little loose. But, uh, other than that, what can you, you can't expect much from a, a plastic pedal. Um, but they're doing very good. Obviously, the side is perfect because I don't do anything on that side. Chain. Oh, let's get that. Chain is an Odyssey Bluebird chain, I think. Uh, then this is an Eclat Sprocket. I don't know what it's called. It's got, like, those weird... I don't know if you can see that. It's got, like, weird cutouts, like, along, like, the inside. I don't know if you can really see it. It, like, grooves in. You can kind of see it maybe a little bit. Um... But yeah, that's that. Let's see here. I don't know if I'm flipping this all over the place. Maybe I am. Um, the frame itself is a McNeil Brado V2. Um, I like it. However, I kind of wanted, I kind of wanted brake tabs um, to throw on. I do have brakes. I've been a long, long, long time since I rode brakes. However, it's nice to have that option if I ever do want to ride brakes. But I don't on this frame. Uh, moving up to the front, we have the We The People Mad Max. I believe these are honestly 10 inch high. I don't know. They're kind of ridiculous. I have some Chad Curly bars up there. I don't know. Maybe I'll put those back on because these are really big. But I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm used to it. Um, I've got one of these Odyssey O grips over here. I've got some demolition grip because one of these ones broke. And these grips are amazing. I love these. This is probably one of my favorite grips. Um, the stem is just some colony top load stem that I friggin messed with a bunch. It was all black and then I kind of did like this weird thing to it. So like only like the cut ends are black. Um, my bike honestly looks like a piece of shit. Uh, maybe in the spring I'll paint it. But as for right now, I mean, it's winter and I'm in Canada, so I'm probably not going to be riding that much. The forks, these were actually given to me by a good friend, Travis. These are the S and M. Forks. <laughs> I don't know what the brand name is. They've got like those weird dropouts where they, they're there's no slot. They're like completely whole, so you have to have a female axle. The front hub is a salt plus female axle hub. I don't know. It was when I worked at the bike shop. It was on clearance. It cost me like nineteen dollars, and I got it. You can see here. It was actually pink. I don't know if I can focus on that. It's not really, it's really shitty lighting in here, but it was pink, and I just spray painted it black. Um, again, pegs, no idea. Same tires of back to Donna Squeak, and uh, this is actually an a clat rim, uh, or a claw, or whatever you want to say. 
so yeah that's pretty much my bike the only other part of this video i wanted to show you um is actually something that happened to me about last week so you'll notice on this side of my bike there's a nice little bar and i mean it's kind of beat up but it's at least there let's look at this side of my bike yep that's dangerous and i've been riding that like that probably whew, a couple months um it took me forever honestly to notice because my grip was all the way to the end and i didn't even notice and i know quite a few people that have got jabbed by the end of their bars without a bar end and i've seen the damage it does and i was just like oh maybe i'll get lucky or oh i'll get one eventually and i'll put one in there i was just being lazy um but yeah um eventually something was gonna happen it was bound to be and the last weekend I was riding and I actually fell from the top of our bowl to the bottom, which is probably this high. I want to say it's probably six and a half, seven feet, maybe. Um, I was being stupid and I fell in. And when I fell in, I was holding my handlebars, obviously. And when I fell, I fell completely on my side, but my leg actually got hit the ground first. And my bars, I went like that right into the side of my leg and I'll put in a picture right now so you're looking at it right now of what my leg looks like and as you can see it, it sucks like it, it it was worse it's been a week now so it's the, the cut is healed up a bit but it jabbed right into my leg like it sucked um, and you can see uh, from that picture the bruising around it and my leg is so sore so let this be uh, a lesson kids um, anybody <laughs> bar ends in your handlebars because they will ultimately fuck your body up like that's a that's a piece of friggin metal going right into your leg your arm your face maybe i don't know however you fall um but yeah if you guys like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up i am feeling a little bit better so if you want to see more of this more bmx real stuff not video games then i will try um i got a different work schedule so i actually don't work until one and honestly i'm quitting soon because i'm going to school so maybe I'll have a bit of time before winter really kicks in and I can get some clips for you guys. Um, I'm definitely going to put a bar in before I start riding again. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, definitely subscribe if this is the first video you've seen. And uh, yeah, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.